So you're thinking about moving to Culver City, but all you keep hearing about is its fancy neighbors, Santa Monica, West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, even Inglewood is being mentioned all the time in the media now. I kind of feel a bit sorry for Culver City. Culver City is a great neighborhood and maybe it goes under the radar. So today in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the pros and cons of living in Culver City. So if that's what you're looking for, let's go. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. I'm a local realtor. If you're looking to make a move to Culver City, please reach out. Always happy to help. I made the move from England back in 2008, so I know what it's like to make a big trip across the country or even across the pond. To give me a call, happy to be a resource. So the pros and cons of Culver City. I think one of the main pros, if you ask me, has to be its location. Depending on where you work, you're really only 30 minutes or less from anywhere. Santa Monica, Beverly Hills, downtown LA, West Hollywood, even Torrance. So the locations for me is A star. For example, if you live in Santa Monica and you're trying to commute to these locations, it's going to take you so much longer to get in and out. So number one for me, the pro, standout pro, it's location. I don't think you can beat it. A huge second pro for me has to be the price point of the neighborhoods. Buying into this neighborhood, getting on the housing market ladder, which is always so important. If you look at its famous neighbors, Santa Monica, Venice Beach, Beverly Hills, you're paying at least a million dollars more for an entry level house. In Culver City, $1.5 million can get you a nice three bed, two bath home. Its local neighbors, you need 2.5 million. If you want to get a condo, say you're a young professional, or a young family, you just want to get on the housing market, you can find a nice two bed condo for $700,000. It's local neighborhoods, zero chance of that. So really getting on the housing market in Culver City, it really helps you because of its price point. Now, prices are going up in Culver City, but you still get really good bang for your buck. Also, when buying homes in Culver City, depending on what type of home you like, it kind of caters for everyone. There's neighborhoods, especially in Orange County, where the homes are kind of cookie cutter. They're old, 70s, 80s, they don't have much character. But in Culver City, whether you want Victorian or modern, bungalow, two-story, one-story, it kind of caters for all tastes. So as long as you and your spouse agree on what type of home you want to buy, Culver City will offer you that. And if you're liking this video, please like and subscribe. I do weekly videos on what it's like to live in LA County, what it's like to live in uh, Orange County. So if you are looking to make a move, watch some more of my videos. Um, hopefully you get a lot of content out of them. And if you do, like I said, please like and subscribe and I'll see you at my next video. Amazon Studios, Apple, HBO have all moved into Culver City. And because of that, I'm loving the young vibe that it has. Um, it's clean, it's healthy, it's trendy, great bars and nightlife. The work-life balance in Coldness City, really good. If you're looking to party till 2 a.m., West Hollywood uh, is probably more for you. Culver City's more sleepy after midnight just because of this work-life balance. Um, but yeah, the vibe is great. The walkability. Um, is the walkability as good as Santa Monica? No, but it still has a great walkability factor. It's got a beautiful mall, Westfield Mall. So if you like walking around a mall in the, at the weekend shopping, or you've got teenagers, you want to drop them off there, they can spend the afternoon and kill some time. It really has one of the best, mall, uh, best malls in the area. Another big pro for me, Culver City. I think it's great for young families. People are always reaching out to me. We've got a young family. We want to be good uh, near good schools, less of a homeless problem. Um, close to the beach for entertainment. Where's the best place to live? And I always say Culver City. The schools are excellent. You're 10 minutes to the beach. Um, just recently in Culver City, they've passed a homeless act where they're not allowing tents or encampments to be built up. That's huge. You just go to the more expensive Venice Beach, the more expensive Santa Monica. There's a real homeless crisis in in, in Culver City, I feel like they're making a, a, a strong move here, a, a strong act to kind of stamp down on homelessness, which maybe the neighborhood towns just aren't doing. Just to back up my point, if you look here, look at the schools, really good schools. And once again, you, you have a price point of 
about a million dollars less than, than Santa Monica or, or Venice or Beverly Hills. And look at the schools and the crime rate. The crime rate is one of the best in the whole of LA County. Venice just down the street, even Santa Monica, more expensive, but the crime rates in Culver City, really, really good and arguably better than the neighbors. So if you're looking for a safe um, neighborhood for kids with good walkability, a great mall close to the beaches, uh, great for commuting, Culver City, wow. Does it have any cons? Another pro people will say is it has its own fire department and police department. Sometimes in other parts of LA, it takes a long time for the fire department or the police department to um, arrive, a lot more red tape, a lot more time consuming things. In Culver City, own fire department, own police force. If you ask me, that's definitely a pro. They can focus just on their neighborhood. And because of that, look, the crime rate is lower. So what are the cons? I keep talking about how Culver City might be my most favorite neighborhood in the whole of LA County, but what are the cons? Surely there are some cons, and there are. Do the neighborhoods feel as though they've been there for a while? The community vibe? Are people born and raised in Culver City, which gives it this beautiful community vibe that a lot of people want when moving into an area? And I don't think it does. I, I really believe that the Santa Monica excels, uh, Beverly Hills excels. There's some other neighborhoods next to Culver City, which has just a better vibe. Um, people kind of move in and out of Culver City a little bit more. It's more transient. The curb appeal, the pride of ownership, is it as high as the lo uh, local neighboring towns? I don't think so, which is why maybe there is a lower price point in Culver City. Um, but I'm really kind of nitpicking when I'm trying to think of cons here. If I was looking to retire, for example, would I choose Culver City? I don't think I would. I think I might choose more beach towns or maybe some towns like South Pasadena or Glendale or Burbank. Don't ask me why, but my hunch, my, my, my gut feeling is if I was retiring, there's better places in LA County or Orange County to move to than Culver City. But that's it really. Culver City kind of delivers on so many factors. There's a few cons, but they're not really that massive. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to move to the west side of LA, the most popular side of LA, if you ask me, you can't afford the, the expensive prices of some of the other neighborhoods. You have to check out Culver City. Has a great vibe, plenty going on, um, good entry level prices to buy homes, and you're close to LAX, huge plus. Um, so Culver City really is an A-star neighborhood in, um, in, 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 am I stuttering? <laughs> a star neighborhood in LA, and I highly recommend it. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. Give me a call if you have any questions. Like I said, I'm a local realtor, always happy to help. Hope to hear from you.